Governor Gretchen Whitmer hopes to bring universal pre-K to families in our neighborhoods. I'm your state capital reporter, Alana Johnson, talking to community leaders about pros and cons about what that would bring to certain families. Uh, these legislative proposals would limit parent choice and parent options, which is critical in a vulnerable community. Robin Bozick is the executive director of the Michigan Head Start Association, a nonprofit that aims to help all children in our neighborhoods to get a strong start to their education. She works with programs to push for Governor Gretchen Whitmer's goal for universal pre-K, but is now concerned that in the state's proposed $20 billion school aid budget, some of the funding to expand these programs may only go to school districts and not local community-based programs. Our biggest concern is, is that if CBOs are unable to participate as partners or if the pay increase becomes prohibitive, that some of these most vulnerable families would lose the access to services. State education leaders say the funding is used to open programs around the state. Um, programs are able to use the grants for attracting um, in retaining talent, so workforce shortages that we've heard about, facility improvements, uh, outreach materials, and to improve their quality um, in terms of instructional materials or other things that will benefit kids in the classroom. But Bozick says there are a number of reasons families in our neighborhoods may head to community-based programs rather than public school programs, whether it be distance, preference, or reluctance to join a larger institution. But Bozick says that this funding could exclude a big population in mid-Michigan. Um, the bottom line is families could lose the access to services, in particular, um, vulnerable and poor families would lose that access. The budget bills need to be agreed upon in both the Senate and the House before it is enacted. At the Capitol, Alana Johnson, Fox 47 News.